So what should you eat during a refeed? Let's talk about it. What is going on, fuckers? Josh here, Uncaged Fighter. I uh, hope you all had a great weekend. Uh, it's a weekend after Valentine's Day. Uh, so if you went out with your significant other, uh, maybe indulged a little bit, it's cool. Hope you had fun. Um, my wife and I were actually going to be celebrating uh, this coming weekend. Going to do a little out of town thing, kind of a bigger weekend. So looking forward to that. That'll be uh, kind of my little cheat weekend. Uh, let's see here. So we are still answering some questions. We're going through a bunch of questions. Uh, today I want to talk to you uh, about one of those questions I get quite a bit, which is, hey, Josh, what should I eat when I do a refeed? So, uh, you know, the, uh, you've been doing an extended fast. So you've been doing like 48 or 72, maybe longer. And now it's time for you to refeed and you want to know what to eat. So, uh, before you can answer that, before you can answer what, what, what you want, what you can, what you should eat, uh, you need to ask yourself how aggressive you want to be. So let's assume, uh, firstly, that you are trying to be very aggressive, super aggressive, okay? Uh, and let's just talk about calories first, okay? So that's the first thing you need to do. You need to determine how many calories... Uh, this refeed is going to be for you, okay? So uh, let's talk super aggressive. Super aggressive uh, for me, when I rec for me, and for what I recommend to other folks, is somewhere in the neighborhood uh, between 500 and 1,000 calories, somewhere there, okay? You want to be aiming to hit that calorie number, okay? So, uh, and, and that's going to be very aggressive. That's when, you know, you were looking for some super fat fucking fat loss. Maybe you were already very large or you have a lot of fat to lose and, uh, or you're just looking to get that weight off fast. Okay. Um, the, the 500 to a thousand calories is what you should be aiming for. Um, and that's, that's going to keep, uh, uh, you know, you're not going to see a huge insulin spike with that. You're not going to see, um, the autophagy level. So if you're doing like a 72 and you're off autophagy levels, like already doing really great. You're just booming with it. Okay. Uh, that, that 500 to a thousand calorie refeed is going to ensure that, uh, uh, you're still chugging along with the autophagy as well. So fat loss autophagy and then really solid insulin levels. Okay. So, um, now let's say that you're going to be not so aggressive in your uh, refeed, and it could be for any number of things. Maybe you've been rolling 72s for a while, right? And you, you've lost a good bit of weight, and you're kind of you're kind of slowing it down just a little bit, um, you know. Because once you've been rolling 72s for a while, and you've lost a good bit of weight, you start getting really kind of shredded. Uh, you can get away with a bigger refeed. Uh, I know I did. Um, you know, it sounds counterintuitive, but it actually works really well. So, um, or or if, you know, maybe weight loss, maybe, or you're only doing this is for weight loss. If you're following this channel, this is the primary use case for this. Uh, you know, that and autophagy, but really, really weight loss is, is the main reason we're fasting, okay? So we can get the weight off and get on more of a maintenance diet quickly, right? Uh, but let's say maybe your workouts are particularly intense. Maybe you're doing like two a days. Maybe you have like a lot of really, really... Uh, strenuous endurance work on a weekly basis, you can get away with a bigger refeed. Okay. And so what that looks like is I would say what's your, basically your daily maintenance calories. So, you know, let's like take me, for example, my daily maintenance calories are, um, I think so. So right now, what was it? I just calculated, I lost some weight. So I just calculated it. It's 27 and some change, something like that, right? So about, let's say 2,700, okay? So for me, that'd be 2,700. And I could, you know, most people aren't going to be able to split, eat that in an OMAD, and that's fine. Uh, you can probably split that into two meals, give yourself a little bit 
big, a little bit more of an eating window, and that's fine. Okay, it's not super aggressive. Um, you'll probably feel a lot more satiated. So if you've been rolling 72s for a while and you're just, you know, you're fried and you need a little bit of a break, give yourself a bigger refeed. Give yourself, you know, uh, you know something that's closer to your daily maintenance calories, right? Um, and feel free to split that into, you know, like two meals. Okay, so calories out of the way. Uh, getting back to what should you eat. So the actual foods that you should eat, right? Uh, again, so let's talk about aggressive first, super aggressive first. We want to, doing an extended fast, doing like a 72, you're going to be in ketosis, right? So we want to, it can take a bit to get into ketosis and we don't really, if we're trying to be aggressive, we don't want to drop out of ketosis, right? Because uh, if we don't have any food in our system, our body is consuming that body fat for energy, okay? We want to make sure it stays up with that. Uh, we're going to have a little meal, and we don't want to do anything that's going to knock us out of ketosis. So what we're going to do, we're going to stay in ketosis with uh, meat, and specifically fatty cuts of meat, okay? So we're talking ribeyes, we're talking bacon, we're talking spam, okay? It's processed, who gives a fuck, all right? We want the fat, okay? Spam. Uh, chicken thighs with the skin. Now that's, with chicken, uh, the, the fat content is not as good as maybe say like a ribeye, but you can get away with it. So, so chicken thighs, you get the dark meat, you get the skin, uh, the fat profile is a little, is a little bit better because we want the fat. The fat is key here. Okay. So fatty cuts of meat, uh, fucking hot dogs, man, sausage, um, uh, so, country style ham. I'm Southern dude. Country style ham. It's a big one for me. Uh, so just just think meat, but also fatty meat. Okay, so that's your that's your number one. That's that's your big one. Uh, hard cheeses. So cheddar. Uh, I'm drawing a blank here. Monterey Jack. Um, you know any any of the traditional hard cheeses uh, like pepper jacks. Um, why am I drawing a blank with cheeses? Cheshire, all, all the, if it's a hard cheese, there you go. I mean, you're looking at real, just minimal carbs, like less than a gram of carbs per serving, okay? And it's it's mainly fat, got a good bit of protein. So cheese, cheese is a good one. Um, we're like thinking about condiments. We're talking about mayonnaise, olive oil, any sort of oil really is gonna be great. Um, you know, you don't really want to go with vegetable oil. Olive oil would be better. But, butter. Uh, so mayonnaise, uh, oils, cooking oil, you know, various oils. Um, try to go with, I mean, I'd say like avocado oil, coconut oil, MCT oil. Um, stay away from like the vegetable oils, the canola oils, things like that. Uh, butter. And I feel like I'm drawing a blank here. Let's stick with those three, okay? So throw those on there. Uh, and you can go with some nice leafy green vegetables to kind of make, give yourself a, maybe a little bit of additional bulk. So uh, spinach, kale, broccoli, things like that, okay? Um, yeah, so that's, that's, that's pretty much it. So if we're staying aggressive, we'll stick with those things. Nice fatty meat, uh, hard cheeses, um, fatty condiments and good leafy green vegetables okay uh now if we're not going to be so aggressive so we can get a little bit uh you have a little more flexibility here and really if you're really not being aggressive um and this is i've done this in the past and actually and still seen great results with it where i would just refeed with whatever the fuck i wanted i'd have a calorie cap of about 2,000 calories and I would eat whatever I wanted. So if I wanted a bunch of rice, I ate a bunch of rice. Um, if I wanted, um, oh, eggs, sorry, eggs. Do not fucking forget the eggs. Going back, we're, rewind, going back, uh, eggs. So fatty meats, cheese, eggs. That's what I was forgetting, eggs. And uh, your condiments, so your fatty condiments, right? Um, yeah, but okay, so fast forward. Yeah, 
you can be, you can have a lot more flexibility. If I wanted a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, okay? But I still had a calorie cap, okay? So that's why the calorie cap is, is, is key here. Um, I would try to hit, uh, just so you're like not going like ape shit with your carbohydrates there. Uh, I would try to maybe say, I want to have this much protein in my meal, okay? So I would say, you know, at least ma in, at least ensure that you're getting yourself at least, I, I'd probably say two servings of some sort of meat, and then whatever else you want, minimum. Two servings minimum. What I would do is I would say, well, you know, I try to get in, Usually daily, my maintenance, like as I'm just going throughout the year, I try to get in somewhere between 190 and 200 grams of protein uh, every day. Um, and so that's on my refeeds. That's what, you know, my kind of freestyle refeeds. That's what I would do. I would say, you know, I'd get about 200 grams of protein. I'd use, I'd use protein shakes and a lot of meat and uh, some eggs to do that. But I'd get that and then whatever was left over, I could just pick out on. So if like my wife made cupcakes, I'd have a couple cupcakes, you know, or really one. It was really more like one if it's cupcakes, but you get the idea, right? Um, so if you're not being super aggressive, it's not super important. Now, if you're finding every time you're doing a refeed and you're having these freestyle uh, refeed sessions and then you notice you're not really losing weight, then maybe it's time to uh, bring it back a little bit and think about being a little bit more aggressive. So dropping out and carbs would be what I would cut first. Uh, I would say, you know, make, making sure you reduce your carbs first. So you have your calorie limit for your kind of freestyle day, which is your maintenance calories, whatever that is. And I'll put the calculator in the uh, description below. Uh, you figure that out, right? And then you, that's kind of your limit. But if you're not losing weights, then cut out some carbohydrates from your, I would limit your carbohydrates to no more than 100 grams. And if that still doesn't work, then you maybe need to think about getting even more aggressive and eliminating carbs completely and then just eating whatever you wanted. So, um, but start off, you know, if you're not seeing any weight loss, start off with doing whatever. If you're not being super, super aggressive with it, then if you're not seeing the results you want to see, drop it down to 100 grams. And then if you're still not seeing any results, you can drop it down to 50, or you can just straight up, uh, you know, go full ketogenic and reduce them to like down to 20 grams for the whole meal. Uh, so, uh, that, and that's how you do it. I mean, it's pretty simple. I mean, and I think what a lot of people do is they just overthink this, right? And I get questions about, hey, these just random foods, is it okay to eat this on my refeed? And you know, like sunflower seeds. Like someone asked me, hey, can I eat sunflower seeds on my, during my refeed? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it depends on your goal. I mean, it just depends on your goals. And I mean, they were kind of doing more freestyle. And I was like, well, yeah. But the reality is that's just a, that's one of those classic overthinking kind of questions, right? You know, and that's, and honestly, just from running this channel and from doing what we've been doing for like the past almost year now uh, with some of this fasting stuff is... I've seen just so many people just overthink this shit. Stop overthinking it, right? Uh, refeed, be very simple in how you refeed, okay? And I've given you the guidelines. Um, so if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Uh, if you like this video, please go ahead and give me that thumbs up if you're new to the channel. Please consider subscribing. Uh, and uh yeah don't don't be uh don't be a stranger uh you know uh come back check out some more of the videos on the channel uh really appreciate it and uh until next time guys have a good one bye